Now we will talk about the chain process. There are four factors. Levin's three-step model, called the eight-step model chain, lecture research, and organizational development. I'm going to talk about eight of them. So, Levin's three-step model is um, a freezing, and then you move, and then you refreeze, but it's more than that. So you have a um, restraining force and um, you have driving force and the restraining force are holding you where they are no matter how much you are pushing. So if you can uh, release some of the um, restraining force, if you can uh, mitigate those so the driving force can push you, um, can move up to the level that you are and then if you can uh, keep it uh, there, you will uh, freeze it in an uh, organizational cuddle over time. Levin's three-state model of train provides an uh, occult in a context of the uh, social behavior of service at an individual and collection level within a group. Since the theory was first introduced in um, 1951, train monitor has taken both uh, sportive and uh, opposing uh, directions. This is a vital reminder when uh, modern day train management uh, frameworks are not working from um, specific use case and uh, business needs. Consider these uh, fundamental of uh, understanding social behavior in lays of a train. Um, and next, call us a step model led for implementing train. This is uh, really interesting and um, it's very important. Most of what goes wrong with um, train process is what that the leaders come up with um, this great idea and uh, they have been thinking about it for a long time and um, they say um, hey we just uh, did it and uh, we uh, unveil our plan and we uh, start here step number three create uh, create a new vision to um, direct the chain and a strategy for achieving the vision and then we run out the plan and uh, we um, communicate the reasons in an uh, organizational and then it goes on and uh, on from there but if fails flat it uh, doesn't work because we never started at the very late at part one step one is um, established a sense of uh, urgency by uh, creating a compelling reason for why the train is needed more often than not. Koda says in his book, leading um, train more often than not, the reasons um, that a train effort fails is uh, because people involved weren't really they didn't have a sense of uh, urgency. They weren't feeling like, um, wow, this uh, really need to train. This uh, this really need to train, or this uh, important to train. Yeah. Now, if um, they can research this and uh, come to the term, like, um, yeah, we really uh, ought to train. They will already have an uh, urgency that will help them create the new vision, which uh, will help them communicate the vision through the um, organizational and empower and uh, so on and on. Call the focus um, that for change to be uh, successful. In other words you have to really work um, on a step one and uh, spend significant time in uh, energy building urgency 
before moving on to the next step. Don't panic and jump in too fast because you don't want to risk further short-term loss if you are up with our proper um, reparation. You could be in for a very uh, pumpy ride, but more often than not, what a stop the reason that uh, it uh, was, doesn't work because uh, we start with uh, step 3 rather than step 1. Next, we will talk about action research. Action research is uh, a trend process based on the systematic collection of data and uh, then operating from there. So you uh, start with a uh, uh, diagnosis and then analysis the uh, feedback action uh, evaluation and you uh, understand this process great but you have to start with getting the reason why this is important then analysis of uh, feedback action evaluation becomes a love from that point forward action research provide a new benefits including it being very problem focused and it also reduced the resistance to change just like in a course model starting at a step one reduce the resistance to train organizational develop um, a number of tools that uh, we use in order to train things within um, organizations it's a very focused on the value of human activities, the personal um, group working together, hearing each other, in process, underlying values and um, organizational development efforts on things like um, repair for people, trust and uh, support, confrontation, participation. And so we will deal with um, things like uh, sensitivity training and uh, using survey and team building, appreciative uh, inquiries and um, are on means of uh, organizational development. Next, Hoài Thương you uh, talk to you will talk to you about um, the stress and itself.